Mm -hmm. I will maintain the respect due to the courts of justice and judicial officers. <laughs> you remember when we found out about the court officers, also known as judicial officers, Coach, <laughs> every attorney that practices law in every court of the United States. <laughs> now, how does it how does it give respect to the courts of justice and the judicial officers oh, <laughs> when you allow for the issuance of court orders where obviously uh, the respondent did not have reasonable notice and Brent you can't just keep saying somebody's fucking crazy you're a delusional bunch of individuals that thought that you can make up bullshit about what the law says see you can't issue a court order uh, for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have certain requirements for those that have children. Yes. Mm -hmm. As the father of five sons, the minors named, uh -huh. you can't issue a court order in 2011. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, without any notice or opportunity to the respondent. Poach. You can't reissue a court order in 2012 without waiting for the verdict from the jury. <laughs> You can't issue a court order in 2012 where you decided to modify it yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. without me say, seeing the actual declaration of the individual that said that I had some sort of problem. <laughs> you can't keep reissuing court orders. You have disrespected mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the courts of justice mm -hmm. and the judicial officers. Now... <laughs> I know that you thought that you could do what you're doing, but you actually can't. It happens to be fraud. <laughs> and as many times as I've told you that it is against the actual laws of the United States, <laughs> you keep saying that I'm the one that has the problem because you want to believe that I'm crazy when I'm not. <laughs> now, here's an example again. June 1st of 2015, Commissioner Brent Baston. <laughs> The existing protection order didn't uh, expire on, for another for 93 days, and the law says that you can't reissue it. <laughs> That's in violation of the laws that you said you would uh, be subject to the laws of the state. That you would abide by the same. <laughs> now, there was no attempt of service from June 1st to June 12th. Yes. <laughs> You have to attempt service. It's a requirement of law. <laughs> the petitioner is required to attempt service on the respondent <laughs> and have proof that the respondent received service, <laughs> process, service of process, five judicial days prior to having a court hearing. <laughs> You can't reissue it without any attempt of service. <laughs> and then you can't have a court hearing 50 days later when you can only issue a temporary protection order for 14 days. You are not subject to the laws of the state of Washington and the laws of the United States. And you have not abided by the same. Does every stupid fucking attorney... Do you understand? I'm going to fuck it. I'm going to sue every attorney in this state and quite possibly in the United States for violating their oath of attorney. It says what it says so that you would not violate the laws. Now, you can't have a motion hearing without the petitioner being present. You can't fraudulently use the state court seal, and you cannot have a forgery of the officer of the court known as the ex officio officer of the superior court. Now, obviously, you are violating your oath of attorney. Do you understand, Judge? You are violating your oath. Now, it says, I will not counsel or maintain any suit or proceeding which shall appear to me to be unjust or any defense except as I believe to be honestly debatable under the law, unless it is in defense or oh, a person charged with a public offense. Now, I will employ... For the purpose of maintaining the clauses 
confided to me only those means consistent with truth and honor. Oh, I will never seek to mislead the judge or jury by artifice or false statement. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> now we looked at artifice and we looked at false statement and we looked at fraud and we looked at fiction. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> now let me see here. Mm -hmm. What is false statement? <laughs> the issuance of this uh -huh, uh, weapon surrender form? Yes. <laughs> at the same minute as the issuance of this? Ooh. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Protection order with this signature, yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is not the same as this signature. See, I know you're having a difficult time understanding artifice or false statement. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is what's known as artifice, yes, or false statement. Do you see the difference between the two there? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is known as artifice and false statement. <laughs> no signature of the protected person. No signature of the petitioner. And two different signatures for the Clallam County Clerk of said county. Pow! <laughs> now, for all of you that said, I will never seek to mislead. Oh, uh -huh. Uh, uh, the judge or jury ooh, ooh, by any ooh, artifice or false statement. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the criminal complaint, shall we, Brett Roberts? <laughs> because I'm going to put you in fucking prison, do you understand? I'm going to put you in prison. The two count criminal complaint mm -hmm. were allegedly, yes, I was in Brendan, Washington, on or about June 16th of 2017. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what is cyber stalking? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That I had sent a very lewd and lascivious email to my wife, uh -huh, or I had not emailed her, and then I violated that, oh, 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 in Jefferson County on June 16th of 2017. See, it says that the defendant in Jefferson County, mm -hmm. Washington, on or about June 7th, with knowledge, had previously, oh, <laughs> now I wasn't in Jefferson County, I actually sent videos from the actual location. Now, um, you're getting sued. <laughs> you're getting sued for violating your oath of attorney. Oh, Judge Landis is getting sued. Okay. I told the judge to read the protection order. I told Judge Porter to, 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 to read the protection order. Now, you are... You have uh, intentionally sought... Never seek. You have sought... <laughs> to mislead the judge or jury by any artifice or false statement. Oh. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's look at the response from the state of Washington, all of those that are employees of the state. <laughs> You're allowing for... Ooh. Oh, 